Hi, and welcome to the first video on what I hope will be a long list of guides discussing all the classes in Vermintide 2. In these halfway series guides, I want to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of each class, how to build them, and where I think the fun of each character comes into play. So with that out of the way, today we're going to talk about Karelian's third career, The Shade. I walk beyond the light. The Shade has one of the most fun, but most useless parts to play in the average room game. See, most other classes in the game rely on doing one thing really well. The Ironbreaker is a hard to kill CC god, the Zealot is a wave clearing left click simulator, and the Handmaiden is the best class in the game. This isn't up for debate, if you disagree, I will kill you. And honestly, the Shade is no different. See, what the Shade do is she kill big thing really fast. And she do it good. But unlike all the other classes in the game, outside of doing that one thing really well, she is goddamn useless. But to figure out why she's so useless outside of her one true purpose, we need to talk about her kit. So let's do that. The Shade's passive is Murderous Prowess. Critical hits from behind always slay man-sized enemies. This is really only useful for wave clear, and even still, it isn't that useful. I mean, how often are you going to be behind an enemy and more than likely you're going to kill them with the crit regardless? While we're on the topic of man-sized enemies, I still don't know why Chaos Warriors aren't considered man-sized enemies. I mean, I get they look like they've been hitting that good juice and going to the gym 8 days a week, but they're still just a smelly man under all the armor. Doesn't really make sense to me. Now, Shade's second passive, whatever the fuck you call this thing, is Assassin's Blade. You gain 50% additional damage when attacking an enemy from behind with a melee attack. Now this is really good, but when it combines with the rest of her kit, it makes it really, really good. Now for the thing that makes the Shade really fun to play. The Shade's career skill is Infiltrate. Carillion becomes invisible and can pass through enemies. And for some reason it doesn't tell you this, but your next attack is always a crit and does bonus damage. This ability allows you to go invisible whenever you want for 5 seconds, which is already really good since invisibility is kind of broken, but it also turns your next melee hit into a goddamn nuke. For the Shades level 5 talent, I usually go to Kane's first so you can get dummy health from all the large enemies you kill, so that you can die in 7 seconds instead of 5 because you have no staminas because you took daggers and daggers have like 2 fucking stamina. For level 10 you should take Cruelty for the extra 50% crit power. I don't know why you would choose Exploit Weakness since it's just a weaker damage buff with more prerequisites, and Exquisite Hunter requires you hit 5 headshots in a row to get the same effect. Seriously, don't take either of these other two talents or I will report you in game. For level 15, I usually take Enhanced Power for more damage and what the fuck even is Stagger, am I right? Now for level 20, either take Urka Burka Shirl's Herald if you like doing it from the back or Vanish if you just want to hit it and quit it. Obviously don't take the other one cause who the fuck plays Shade from range? Go play your pussy Waystalker shit if that's what you're into. <laughs> Now level 25 is kind of a toss up depending on your playstyle. I like Spring Healed Assassin for the extra 50% movement speed after crits, but 20% damage reduction after a crit is pretty good too, and so is just moving at a constant 10% extra movement speed. And you're playing the elf anyway, so you should just constantly be in front of your team to begin with. And finally, for level 30 talents, all of them are actually pretty good. Cloak of Mist makes your ult on a lower CD, and after leaving it, you have a 100% crit chance for 4 seconds, but you don't get the bonus damage on your career skill anymore. Shadow Step makes you blink forward, adding a dash to your kit, and Cloak of Pain gives Karelian 5 more seconds of stealth and a guaranteed crit after she attacks for the first time in her ult, but the second crit doesn't get the bonus damage from her ult. I personally prefer Cloak of Pain the entire time I played Shade, because when you de-stealth in the middle of a horde, this happens. And with Cloak of Pain, you can come and go nice and quick like with no danger. Cause who wants a heart pumping experience in a virtual world with no real life repercussions? For her melee weapon, you should take double daggers and literally nothing else because headshot damage and who gives a fuck about anything else. I take resourceful combatants for a quick ult and then I get crit power and power versus monsters because for some reason, chaos bosses are the tankiest in the game. For range, I like the volley crossbow with barrage so you can fire a bunch of useless bolts at the boss before ulting because I guess that makes ass blasting them easier for you for some reason. And after that you want to take crit power and power versus monsters, obviously. No one cares what you take for necklace because it doesn't give you damage, just take bonus health or something, I don't care. 
for your charm, take decanter so you can pop a perp and then get more ults, or have a longer damage buff with the strength pot. Same thing, crit power, power versus monster. For your trinket, take shrapnel so you can bomb blast the boss before ass blasting them. Obviously take curse reduction and then CDR for a shorter ult CD. Now with all that out of the way, you can probably figure out why shade kill big thing real good. With the bonus damage from her ult, Assassin's Blade, Cruelty, Urka Burkashul's Herald, Shrapnel, Crit Power, and Power vs. Monster, you can turn any boss into Rat Sushimi. But remember earlier when I said that Shade is the most useless class outside of Kill Big Thing real quick? Here's why. She doesn't have great survivability since her ult and viz can only last up to 10 seconds, and when she comes out of the ult, a rat poking her with a wooden rod breaks her guard because daggers have no stamina. And she has no wave clear with the daggers and she doesn't provide her team with any buffs or auras. See, as the Shade, you're basically a one-trick pony. You're like a blue-eyes white dragon with 9,000 attack power and no defense. Still, so far, Shade is one of the most fun and rewarding classes in the entire game, if not just because people freak out in chat when you make boss go boom. Yeah, shit, nutty dude. 